Hi, this is Whitney, and I'll be doing a few demonstrations for Lesson 12 Skills Practice. This lesson is about compositing and combining image elements and images. I'll be starting here with number three, pasting into a selection. I'll be showing a couple of examples of this. I'll start here with something pretty simple, meaning that the selection and subject can be done res relatively easily and can be easily combined. So let me go over to Photoshop and show you the images I've chosen. And by the way, you can use any image, just as long as it's um, not copyrighted. You can use your own or go to opengraphicarts.com or the Creative Commons. Um, this image I thought would be a good one to use. I can make a selection of the lens here pretty easily. And I thought it'd be nice to add um, a point of interest here in the lens. Uh, the other image I chose here is this picture of this um, this funny fish. I thought that would be a good um, point of interest to add to the lens. So I'll start here by making my selection. I'll zoom into the lens and again I thought this would be an easier selection to make using the quick selection tool because there's a big difference in contrast between um, the glass lens and the metal surface that's holding the lens. So I'm going to go ahead and finish up the selection and that looks pretty decent um, and I think that will be a good start. So with the selection active I'm going to go ahead and save the selection because no matter how easy it is it's always good to save the selections as you work um, in case you need to come back to them. I'll go over to this image and um, for the fish I'm just going to use the marquee tool. I'm not going to do anything super um, elaborate here um, because I think it'd be nice to have some of the surrounding features um, if it shows up in the lens anyway. So from here with this selection active I will go ahead and copy it so edit, copy, or command C, and then go on over here to my image and uh, paste. So up in edit, you can choose paste, but I'm going to do paste special and choose paste into, because what that's going to do, it's going to place the fish into the selection that I made. And it's going to create its own layer and a layer mask associated with my selection that I had. So there's my selection. Um, what is being revealed was what I had selected, which is the lens, and the rest is being hidden. So with that in place, the fish is definitely too big, so I am going to resize it. So I can do that um, through a transform scale. I grab on to the corner here, I can make the fish smaller. And if I hold the shift key, I can constrain those proportions and make it smaller so the fish is showing through the lens. All right, I could probably go just a tad smaller. Okay. So um, with the transform being complete, resizing it, I hit enter and put that into place. And now, um, rather than just simply leaving it here like this, I definitely want to blend it uh, a bit more. So I can do two things. Uh, um, I can go through and look at the different blending modes for the layers and toggle through these. Oh, and the overlay actually looks really nice. Um, again, blending them so you can still see the lens but, but then see the image. Um, that is kind of the ideal situation. You don't want it to be too obvious that you put them together, even though this is very obvious that I put them together. Um, but again, you can go through and figure out which one is going to be working the best. Now with these, you can choose um, either to do just the blending mode or just the opacity because here if I go back to normal I can adjust the opacity and get a good um, balance between the two. Um, if I'm using the opacity I can actually get a little bit more of the fish 
while still retaining some of the reflection of the, of the glass part of the lens here. Um, so you can use either just the blending modes or just the opacity or a combination of the both to get the results blended um, and to get what you like. So the point is for you to um, pick some images and um, paste them together and paste into, practice pasting into a selection.